So what am I going to reporting on today? Thorpe Park Resort have confirmed a new parking system for the 2020 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Ongster, Bob Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from the Thorpe Park Resort. Now before we get started, massive shout outs go to Tom Berry, Falco Flair, Brian Galeas and also please subscribe to Fright Park Coaster, also known as Night Park Coaster. Make sure you go subscribe to him as well, a big shout out to him. Secondly, make sure you go check out our updates over the past few days. We've had plenty of brilliant updates from Slag Haran, Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, Power Park and so much more. Coming up in the next few days, we've got loads of news updates. We've got a construction update from Flamingoland. We've also got news updates from Wiener Prater in Austria. That's going to be coming today. Uh, make sure you also stay tuned for the UK Theme Park Season Review 2019. That's going to be coming in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. And th there we go. So let's have a look at the Theme Park News update from Thorpe Park Resort. Now, we don't know what they're doing for 2020. However, it seems like it's going to be a general improvement. And the general improvement starts with the parking. Now, many people have said in the past that parking and sort of access into the site has always been a negative with Thorpe Park over the years and it seems to have downgraded. However, Thorpe Park seemingly have confirmed this. Now on social media, someone asked about the parking and something called a bottleneck that happened on the parking access. And in response to this, Thorpe Park have actually confirmed to that person on social media, on Twitter in fact, uh, that a new parking system is going to be introduced into 2020. So. It seems like we're going to be getting uh, maybe some new barriers, maybe some new uh, in and out exit and entrance parking systems. But you know what? I think it's a general step forward in my opinion. Now, many people are saying, why aren't they investing in a brand new ride next year? First of all, I think if they were going to invest in a new ride of some sort, we would have seen clearing by now. So we're not going to see a new ride next year at Thorpe. But you know what? I think that's a good thing. And I think that's a good thing because one, it means we could see construction start for a new big project, a new coaster project in the next couple of years, maybe 2021, 2022, that sort of thing. And also, secondly, I think it's time Thought Park really improved what they've already got. So it looks like we're going to see Park, Thought Park become even more well-rounded as a theme park, uh, which is going to be very good. And you know what, to be fair, most people would have been... Some people would have been negative with this and expected a new ride. I'm actually very excited about this because it means that Thought Park are going to improve their parking, improve their access into the park, and also it means that Thought Park are going to become a more well-rounded theme park as well. Uh, so I am excited about that. And like I said, we don't know exactly what's going to go on in terms of changing the parking system next year. Uh, it could be new barriers. It could be a new entrance exit system. It could be literally anything. Uh, now, I don't think that's going to make any changes to the entrance to the park or the entrance to get into the car park, in fact. The whole sort of looping style entrance with Colossus sort of style uh, going into the car park. We don't think that's going to change. We just think it's going to be the parking system. So it could be prices for parking. It could be uh, any ticket booths that are sort of around near the car parks as well. Uh, it could literally be anything to do with the system and the way they operate the parking, uh, the car parking at the theme park. So I definitely think this is going to be a massive up for Thorpe Park next year. And I do think from this stage, we can already tell that 2020, I won't exactly say it's going to be another year of events like never before, like they did this year for the 40th anniversary. It won't be anything to do with that. Obviously, we know that Jungle Escape's coming back. We know Fright Night's come back like, like it does every Halloween. Uh, now, Bouncezilla has been a little bit cautious for coming back because, of course, it's operating at this thing in London. Uh, and apparently it's been re removed from Thought Park websites. So uh, that's just the forum talking. That's not me talking. That's the forum talking. So it should be interesting to see if Bouncezilla is going to come back as well. However, uh, it seems like this is just going to be like a general improvement year. Just sort of improving the whole park and sort of improving different areas. Hopefully we get to see the deconstruction of Vloggers Leap over winter season so we're not looking at an SBNO ride for another year even though we know it's closed for good unless they've got plans to bring it back which I doubt they will. As much as I'd like to see them do it again because you know they can do it, they can sort of, uh, sort of refurbish the ride and bring it back. 
I don't think that's going to happen. I think it will be the next major development project, but they have to put some plans in for it first. So I do think we could see the deconstruction of Loggers Leap over this winter season. I do think that uh, we could see something in the next couple of years, something massive in the next couple of years, next two, three years maybe. Uh, but I think next year's just going to be a focus on general improvements and just well rounding the experience and I think that's a massive up for Thorpe Park so I really praise them for that and of course it all starts with this brand new parking system whatever they decide to do with it so keep updated here on the channel for more updates on what we're going to do for next year including more details as to what's actually going to change with the new parking system but make sure you leave your comments and theories down below what do you want to see change with the parking system do you want to see cheaper parking prices do you want to see a new entrance exit system? Do you want to see just a new way of getting in, in and out of the park? Do you want to see that all change and sort of all be uh, either modernised or just brought back up to a current standard? So make sure you leave your thoughts and theories down below. Make sure you like this video if you've loved it. And also subscribe to the channel for more theme park news updates. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep on the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys for plenty more theme park news updates over the next couple of days. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.